was on 79th Street, 79th, the Dan Ryan going east. Mother Napa had given me some strawberries, and I had the strawberries right over the dashboard there. And I like blue, you know, like an interior church or house. But I happen to like burgundy when it come down to cars. And Lord, that was the prettiest burgundy Cadillac. And I was minding my own business. And I was supposed to meet a group of the saints somewhere, some repast or something. And I stopped at the light on 79th. And while I was waiting, something hit me in the back. Boom, and it knocked the back trunk up. And when I looked in front of me, it stopped, it hit me and stunned me so until I said, what is this that I hit? And when I looked in the rearview mirror, all I could see was black because the hood was up. And I couldn't see forward. Only to find out this fella hit me. Now I'm saved. I'm saved. And when I got out, I just figured, look, I don't care how big he is. And I got out the car. And the fella was in the car, so drunk he was rolling. He said, I did it that time, didn't I? I said, I looked at him. I've gained some ground in God now. But then I told him, I said, you darn toot, you did. And I was opening the car door and the fella got out, stood about this high. I said, oh God, he's drunk, he's short. You know what I mean? Now, I, I was on my way. I was driving carefully, but he hit me. Sometimes you can be ever so safe and not bother nobody. And somebody can come up against you spiritually with something you ain't ready for. You can be in the happiest of spirit. Praise the Lord. And somebody walk up to you. You think you cute, but honey, you ain't cute. You, you, you know, you, you ain't ready for that. You in a good spirit and in a good mood and they come way in a, you know. And, and, and you need God to help you. Cause it, it don't take much to look at him and say, you old ugly thing, you get out of my face. You know, it don't take much to do that. I'm serious, folks. And you in a good spirit and in a good mood and everything. Somebody come way over in left field, out of left field, in reverse. Spiritually so. Do you follow what I'm going? Take it natural. And I'll run into you. And say, now why would they want to do that? I haven't been even thinking that way about them. I wasn't even ready for that. Call you up and bless you out and then hang up on you. And then you, you got to get organized. You don't know whether to go over there and whoop them. You don't know whether to just call them on the phone and say, listen, nut or whatever. You, you know, and you'll find yourself, if you're not careful, getting on the same level that they are. And sometimes you got to stand still and get re regroup yourself. Because you'll find yourself getting right on their level, clowning, just like them. You see? Now, I just brought that out about that natural hit in the back of me. To show you that's the way it is spiritually. You can be a careful, spiritual driver. Alien, I don't bother nobody. I mind my own business. I go to church. I come back. I'm a saint of God. I don't bother nobody. And why is they always picking on me? That's where it is. Sometimes folk will be jealous naturally. So I'm talking about a car now. Seems to be my road service. And they can take their keys. Whose car is that? Well, that's Sister Doohickey's car. Well, that's that new car she got. And take the key. And just say. And just put it. And make it look too bad. To stay like that and too much money to get fixed <laughs> and just just on me somebody took my car and just
took and took it and, 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 and scratched a star right on the hood. A star. And that's what folks will do you spiritually. They'll try to scandalize your name. They'll try to scar you. They'll try to mar you. And you got to love them. You got to love them. 